What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Straight Out the Hook. I'm Mikey Slayball and in today's video you're going to see what it's like to live a life of a PBA regional bowler trying to make it to the bigs. Um, yeah, this is basically my normal life and what I go through each weekday and preparation for the big stops and other bowling tournaments such as those. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'm going to try to get more content out on YouTube. It's been a little while. Uh, things have changed. I got married to my beautiful wife who's hiding right now. My wife, Elizabeth, we just got married a little over a month ago and things are changing. So yeah, hopefully I can get more content up for you guys and uh, enjoy the video. Well, it is currently 4.15 in the morning and uh, it's time to go to the gym. I'm a little behind schedule right now just because I slept through my first alarm, but that's okay. Um, we got our breakfast ready. Got to finish packing up our stuff over here to make sure we have stuff ready to go. And then I uh, got to get to the gym. Get this day started. All right. Well, it is uh, a little after 4.30. Usually I'm at the gym by now, but uh, we had a little bit later of a start to the day today. That's okay. Sometimes you need that extra 10 minutes, but we got our pre-workout and uh, we're almost there. Today's a deadlift day. Um, one of my favorite days. Uh, the program I follow is a powerlifting program from Network Barbell. I work with this this guy who's awesome. His name's Alex Walters. Um, and the reason I'm doing these programs is because I just want to get stronger. Uh, as somebody who's trying to become a uh, world-class bowler, quote-unquote, uh, I want to become an athlete. So I focus on strength and conditioning. I want to be athletic. I want to be powerful. I want to make um, athletic movements. And uh, also, I like to get less tired when I'm bowling too. Uh, it, it also helps too if the ball speed goes up a little bit uh, along with the rev range. So um, I feel like lifting weights can't really do anything but help me. So uh, I follow this awesome program that they provide. Uh, I've been doing it for a while now. It's, it's really great. Um, got a couple goals in mind for, for weights, but other than that, I'm really just doing it just to become a more well-rounded athlete. So uh, this used to be a lot easier about a year and a half ago. Uh, my wife, Elizabeth, wasn't in my life yet. And so, uh, you know, I was able just to go to the gym after work and throw weights around for an hour and not have any consequences whatsoever. But now that we're married, uh, it's a little bit different. She's not a morning person. And so uh, in order to make time for us at night, I decided to go lift in the morning. So that way I have more time with her at home, uh, which is really great. I'm, you guys heard me say I love you to her this morning before I left. Um, she's awesome. She's supportive of all of this and she is my best friend. I love her to death and uh, I wouldn't be able to do this without her. Um, even if that means I have to get up at 4 a.m. in the morning to go get work done, uh, I'm totally willing to do it. That means uh, I can spend more time with her. But um, yeah, so we're here at the gym. Uh, let's go get some work done. It's gonna be a good Friday. Yeah. So real quick, the great thing about coming to the gym at four, what was that? 4.47 in the morning, Got the whole place to yourself, so yeah, that's kind of nice. Well, that workout's done. Got the blood flowing a little bit. Feel good. Um, it's really funny. At about 6 o'clock in the morning now, all the New Year's resoluters come in and just flood the gym. So it's kind of nice to get in and get out before they come in and take everything over. But, uh, yeah. All right, drink my protein shake. Ready to head off to work. Uh, what you guys saw there was a pretty typical workout. Um, obviously, other days are different muscle groups and different exercises. But that's basically the, the same idea. You have one compound move and then uh, a couple accessory moves to help to help out, you know, round out the body basically. So, 
Uh, yeah, I, another question I get a lot is what do I do to help with arm strength? Well, I do a bunch of different things, but one of the main things I do is what you saw at the end of that video. Um, I do 100 tricep extensions with the resistance band and then 100 bicep curls with the 45 pound barbell. Uh, I got this workout from Network Barbell and what they do is they time you to see how fast you can do it. So I've kind of made a challenge for myself how fast can I do 100 curls, 100 tricep extensions. So that's just one way. There's obviously many ways, but that's one way that I do it. I don't really work out my arms to get big. I don't really need big arms. I do it more so for injury prevention uh, and to help with the stamina and be able to bowl these long blocks and not have my arms get tired. So uh, definitely something I'd recommend. But yeah, that's usually how I start my mornings and, uh, and I'm about to head off to work. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It's a Friday. My boss, Steve Heitzman, he's awesome. So I'm sure we're probably gonna have a great day today. Uh, the guys I work with at Assessa Coatings and Solutions, they're great guys. I love working for the company. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go put on our eight hour shift, uh, have a good day. And then afterwards, head off to the boil and get some more work done. So uh, I feel like it's been a pretty good start to this Friday. So let's go get the rest of it. Well, we made it halfway through the day. It's currently lunchtime here at work, and I just came out and sat in my car because it's a beautiful blue sky and the sun's shining bright. I mean, it's only 18 degrees outside, but still a good view. Uh, but while I was out here, I kind of want to explain some things about professional bowling that some people don't really understand. Um, you know, a lot of people are shocked when I tell them I have a full-time 40-hour week job. Uh, they think I make my income solely from bowling, which I don't, and it's really hard to do that. I know just a few people who do, um, but, you know, they, they bowl quite a bit, and it's it's really hard to do. Um, the expense of getting out there is a little bit more than what people expect. Unless you have a lot of help, um, it, it, costs you, it costs you a pretty penny to get out there. Um, fortunately for me this year, I had a little bit of help getting out to uh, the players in the U.S. Open, uh, so which made it a little bit easier for me to, to take the time off of work and stuff to get out there. Um, but it uh, it's a pretty penny. Uh, last year at the World Series of Bowling, when I went down to Tampa, Florida, uh, I was gone for a little over a week and a half to get down there and back. And after the whole trip was done, expenses had it over, I believe I was just over $2,000 to get there and back. Uh, and that was just for one week and I didn't make a dime. <laughs> I got my butt kicked. Um, so it, it can cost some money to get out there. But uh, that's why I love the regional tour. And I guess that's why I bowl so well on the regional tours, just because I focus all my time on it. You know, it's weekend getaways basically and all within driving distance. And they're a little bit cheaper. They're not quite as expensive to get there. Um, yeah, and the competition's still about the same, and bowlers are extremely good in the uh, central region. It's just it's stacked, but yeah, it's it's really hard to make it on the PBA tour uh, week in and week out financially and time wise. I'm currently already out of vacation time for the rest of 2022, and it's not even February yet. Um, I've burned up all my vacation time getting to the players and now getting to the U.S. Open. But the guys here at work are great. I got an awesome kid that works with me uh, that keeps the place afloat while I'm gone and kind of puts me on his back and makes sure we don't fall too far behind. So things here are, are great. But, uh, yeah, it's it's really tough to get out there. And, uh, you know, when you get out there, if you only get one or two opportunities, you got to find something in that one or two opportunities to uh, beat the best in the world. So, But you know what? If it was easy, everybody would do it. That's why I'm up for it. I love the grind. And, uh, yeah, hopefully someday I can take advantage of one of those opportunities and make something happen. So, but uh, for now, I'm going to go back in and enjoy the rest of my day at work and uh, get ready to go bowl tonight. Yeah. Well, we made it. It is the weekend. We just finished up at work. It was a great day. We got a lot done and had our usual Friday shenanigans. I'll just say it's really easy to go to work when you enjoy who you work for and who you work with. It's a lot of fun. So I'm very grateful to work with those guys at Assessa. It's awesome. But now we're heading to Parkway Lanes to go get more work done for the U.S. Open. Uh, I got to sharpen up a couple things with my left shoulder and with my footwork. It's just kind of sloppy right now, which is leading to really bad um, shot making and I'm not posting many shots. I'm, I'm kind of falling off the line. So got to do some of that work. And so it'll probably be about an hour, hour and a half, head back home. Usually in the summer, I would go for a three mile run at night after uh, everything is said and done right before dinner. And then uh, I would settle down and have the rest of the night to myself and to my wife. But since it's the winter, I don't have an indoor bike to ride. I'm gonna have to suck it up and go out in the cold and run. But I hate the cold with a dying passion. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so we'll get some work done at the Bowen Alley first. All right, well, we're back at my we're back at my second home and today is going to be working on my left shoulder and my footwork and try to get things tidied up for the US Open and uh, then just focus on making shots and uh, yeah enjoy it 
So let's get to work. Practice is, whoa, practice is finished. It was kind of rough, I won't lie. I'm still, it's like a lot of things to fix before the US Open, so hopefully I can at least get it close enough to compete. That's my hope, so. But now we're gonna go home. Uh, sun's still up just a little bit, so we're gonna go out and uh, try to get a good little two mile run in or so and uh, enjoy the rest of this night, so, yeah. If only I was going out to run in 80 degree weather. Babe, you want to move to Florida? Yep. On our way. I hate the cold. Well, there you go. There is a day in the life of a PBA regional bowler. Um, that two miles was absolutely brutal because it's like breathing in ice. It's horrible, but it's worth it all at the same time. So now we're going to hang out. Have some dinner, enjoy our Friday night, and uh, I don't know, look forward to the weekend. So uh, hopefully I'm ready for the U.S. Open in, I don't know, what, eight days or something like that. So we'll see. we got plenty of time to get ready for it. Just got to mentally prepare. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey, babe, you want to feel how cold my hands are? Okay, well, it's worth a shot. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, yeah, try to put more content up on YouTube and see if we can't get some more coverage for stuff for you guys for about blowing stuff out there. So hope you guys enjoy this. I'll catch you at the next one. Keep everything straight off the hook. See you guys. I would rather take 119 degrees right now in the middle of the desert than this. This sucks. <laughs>